It's so weird, like you know, like a like a man. Oh was my supposed god! To put the red card on the nail and then trying to do like the shot because of the shot and then just trying to like. Make Those it. are man hands, you know. Yeah, it's man hand. But I'm trying to be like a female hand. You know? Uh no no. no. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! One, two, three, action. What's up guys, this is Lance Lee. I'm the DP of this short film, Jane. The short film is both a standalone visual experimentation as well as the teaser for our longer film that we are going to do soon after. The full length film we are planning to do is about the relationship between serial killer who believed love is consumption and the little girl who had never experienced parental love. You can find the full description of the film after the launch of our crowdfunding webpage. Okay, let's talk about lighting. In this short teaser, the main goal was to establish the character of the female serial killer. Because we wanted to explore the idea of love and consumption, we restricted location to the kitchen and dining room. And here is the general floor plan of our lighting setup. You might have to put, um, just kind of layer the sauce so it can be darker. Yeah, like that. That looks like blood. For the key light, I put the Aperture 300D outside window with the angle and the cover with CDB gel. I like to sharply define the shadows created by the hard light source, but also had a hard time reducing the flare produced on the window. I also had the Aperture 20D shining through the back door of the kitchen, but it was not shown in edit. However, in the ending, we used the barn door of this light to simulate the opening of the door. Can you change the tail temperature? Yeah. I also replaced the light on top of the stove with Aperture AL MX set to high color temperature because the director wanted over a cool tone in the kitchen environment. The other things I did in the kitchen scene including booming a luxury cello RGB panel as a thin top light on a central table and bouncing the Aperture 20C to the ceiling to create a sound overall feel. Now let's look at the dining room. First we have the top practical lamp. An aperture 20C was set to tungsten color temperature and Amy at actress and her dish using barn doors to control the highlight parts. Then I set up a 20D shining through the top glass as the main entrance, create a very interesting light pattern on the background wall. To balance the background pattern, I decided to put a luxury channel with 7500 Kelvin outside the window of the right side, although this was never how the real moonlight works. Actually, the above practice only for one particular setup. If you look carefully at the film, the dining room got darker and cooler every time the actress changed clothes, implying the progression of time and the mental state of the character. The composition also got tighter and tighter. Thanks for watching.